Homecoming week is the best and maybe the busiest week for all Fort Hayes State University athletes, and today we are joined by a veteran on the soccer field. Today's Tiger is a native of Wichita, Kansas, and a graduate of Bishop Carroll Catholic High School back in 2018. He finished his high school career with three All-State and All-City selections, as well as a silver medal at the Kansas State High School Activities Association State Tournament his senior year. After his redshirt freshman year here, he was selected as the All-Conference Freshman of the Year, starting in all 21 matches for the Tigers. One season later, as a sophomore, he was selected to be first-team All-Conference as a defender and earned two academic honors as well after finishing the season 4-2-1. and one. This season, he has his Tigers off to a great start with two wins over top 25 opponents. With that, I'm happy to welcome in senior defender Alec Bevis. Thank you for being here today. Yeah, thank you for having me. Alec, I've got to start at square one and, and ask you just the basics. How long have you been playing soccer, and was there anything in particular that got you into playing soccer? So probably, well, I'm 22 now. Probably started when I was about four, three, four. Four, so we're looking at like 18 years or so. Was there anything in particular that got you into playing soccer? Was there a sibling or a dad? My or dad. Mom? My okay. dad, he played soccer through uh, when he was younger. Back, he actually went, he graduated from Carroll as well, but they didn't have men's soccer at the time. But yeah, he kept playing it, loved it. And then my older brother played it, my older sister played it. And so I just followed in sweet. Growing up, was soccer always your biggest passion or did you play a few other sports along the way as well? Uh, soccer and basketball, those were my two. I played baseball for a little bit, but it wasn't for me. Then my eighth grade year, I played football, and it was fun, but yeah, it's always been soccer and basketball for me. Do you have a, a favorite soccer player right now, a guy that you follow and try and model your game after? Or? Not really. I, For whatever reason, I don't really have true favorite sports teams. I, can't, I love watching, but I don't really have one team in any sport. Gotcha. Well, we'll talk about your time at Bishop Carroll. You know, it's such a you know amazing high school there in Wichita. You talk about your accomplish accomplishments that you got there; they're very impressive. What was your overall take being an Eagle at Bishop Carroll? So yeah, I, I loved it. We were loved the school, loved the athletics. We were competitive and almost everything we had. And from my time there, we came in a lot of our like we had a really really good freshman class. And a lot of us had either been playing with each other or against each other for many years. And we just were able to build on that year by year. And by the time we were seniors, there was, I think, six people who had been starting from freshman to senior year. That's really impressive. When, when you came to Fort Hayes State after Bishop Carroll, what was your initial feeling as a freshman? Did you feel like this was the perfect place to you when you stepped on campus? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I came here I'm a chemistry major I met with the department and everyone I met was very welcoming very excited for me to be there so that was a very good sign at the very beginning then soccer I uh, the program the even though it's a very young program very good historically going to the NCAA tournament pretty much every year winning conference so it's a very good place to be yeah that's awesome. You answered that perfectly and kind of predicted the future. My next question for you was going to be uh, what your major was and what you plan to do after you graduate. So, I, yeah, just to reiterate, I'm a chemistry major with a biochemistry emphasis. After I graduate here in the spring, I'm planning on attending graduate school and hopefully pursuing a Ph.D. program. Have you been uh, sending your applications out so far and, and do you have a few options out there? So I haven't quite started sending them yet, but I'm trying to get my list of schools and the professors I'd hopefully work for kind of compiled and then what each of those schools require as far as uh, acceptance. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Moving into soccer a little bit now, you guys are off to a great year so far. You've beaten a couple outstanding teams like we mentioned earlier, and you've also had your fair share at traveling already. So far this season, what has been the highlight for you? Um... Really, I really just like getting with all the guys together. I mean, every year you always have new people. People leave, new people come in. And so with, I'm going to take it back one year to this, the past COVID year we kind of had. We had a lot of seniors leave, a couple of people transfer out. So last year in the fall, I think we had 21 freshmen come in with about eight people returning from the team. Wow. So that was 
that was tough, but we were able to, again, again, not having that season in the fall helped us work through it. And now it's definitely paying dividends this year because we have all of those guys who are still here. So we have a pretty big sophomore class, even though they haven't played a true season yet, they still have that experience. They know what it's like to be here. So it's been very beneficial for the freshmen who came this year to be able to look at them and kind of understand what it takes. That's great. That's great. Being the captain and the leader of a team, you know, is never easy. You're faced with some obstacles. Uh, but as the leader right now of your soccer team, what do you strive for the most to get out of your guys? Just work. Work as hard as you can. Don't let anyone outwork you. And that's what I say before every game, every time we step on the field. We know we have the quality. We just have to have the energy and that work ethic. No, People can't match our quality, but if we can't match their energy, they can beat us. That's a great way to look at it. When you know, when I go out there to the pitch and watch you guys, you guys are always super intense, and it seems like you guys have great team chemistry. Uh, when you look at your team right now, when you guys go off the field, what's the identity there of your guys' team? Are you guys pretty comical? You guys have some jokesters? Are you more laid back? What's it like? It was a pretty good mix. Like, especially with our team, I think it's a pretty unique team when you compare it to the other ones just because of all the international guys we have. So it's great just to – you see all the different perspectives. Like, we have a couple guys from Japan, a couple guys from England, Australia, South America. Like, just little bits and pieces from all over the world, different culture, different background. Really just learn a lot. And it's fun. It's fun having that diversity. That's great. And and to get that diversity here, you have to give credit to Coach Jerry Cleary. He is such a great coach, and he's in his third season now at as the head coach. You've been able to be here for all of his seasons. Can you tell us what he's like as a coach and, and what he's been able to do already so far with the program? So he's good coach, very tough coach. He expects the best out of us, but he's also a really, really funny guy. Like, me and all our teammates say, like, I don't think I'll ever meet another person quite like him. And, yeah, so he, he expects the best out of us. He really does push us to be best we can be. But he also knows how to crack a couple of jokes, sometimes too many. <laughs> that's really – that's good. That's fun. Moving forward, what are, what are you and your team looking to accomplish this season? And if you had to mark some of your top goals moving forward, what would those be? So now that we're, we had our conference opener last Saturday against Roger State, which is the other top team in our conference, we were able to come out 3-1 on top. So now it's all about just keep on winning. I know it sounds a little obvious, but we had a really a pretty successful out-of-conference season, played a couple tough teams, won a couple, lost a couple. But as we move forward now, we just have to keep, keep it rolling, keep winning, keep getting better, keep improving, hopefully win conference host the conference tournament so we don't have to travel anymore. And then after that, look for the NCAA. Yeah, for sure. You guys, like you talk about that opening win last week over Rogers State, you guys are now in the driver's seat at the top of the conference. And, you know, if you stay in that driver's seat, you'll be conference champions, a thing that you've already accomplished uh, with your coach. What was that feeling like winning the conference and, and finishing at the top of the list? It was awesome. It, like I said, it was great to get out, win, and then – as I mentioned a little bit ago, that means we get to host the conference tournament, which is massive. As you said earlier, we've already spent a lot of time on that bus, and I'm sick of it. So, <laughs> Yeah, it's always tough traveling, but it's always great to be at home. It's always more fun. Uh, and we always have to save the best for last. Pretty easy one here, but Alec, we have to ask, what is your favorite part about being a Fort Hayes Tiger? That's a tough one. I know there's, there's a lot of good things. To pinpoint just one. Um, I'd have to say probably the sense of community, sense of togetherness. I mean, every time, just, I mean, the community feeds off of the college, the college feeds off of the community, you know, you, especially like football game day, like you can see Fort Hayes Tigers, Fort Hayes Colors all over the city, all through downtown. Everyone is really together in that sense. I think the people about the kid, people in the community really care about the college students, their success. Well, that's great. Thank you, Alec, and, and thank you all for listening. That was Alec Bevis, the all-conference lockdown defender for the Fort Hayes State men's soccer team. From Jackson Webb and the Tiger Media Network crew, go Tigers!